hair is a disaster. It looks like I just woke up, but you know what? My stylist says it's okay. <laughs> Not better. <laughs> just leave it at that. There we go. Who needs this? to chat it up with some actors, directors, and producers on the red carpet at the Spirit Awards in LA. Now, my red carpet appearance was a little bit different than what you would think because I was actually in my living room in Toronto, but also on the red carpet in LA. How does that work? Let me tell you. Skype, which you know I love dearly, contacted me to actually take part in this event. At the very beginning of the red carpet at the awards, Skype had a van set up, and inside that van was a computer where I lived for the afternoon. So on this computer was myself and four other film enthusiasts, and the celebrities would be brought into the van where we would chat with each other via Skype. Oh, the power of Skype. This is how the day unfolded. Hey guys, so today is a very uh, exciting day. I am interviewing celebrities on the red carpet for the Spirit Awards. And uh, I, I am just so honored and happy to be part of this. So just finished setting up the set that I am going to be enjoying the red carpet. And uh, we got my lights, you know, keep it nice and bright in here. I've got my questions. Got my questions prepared for each uh, actor, director that's going to be coming in to talk with me. And um, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I'm mostly excited. This is going to be really fun and uh, different than anything I've ever done before. Here are some of the actor, director, writers that are going to be coming in to talk with me. Just give you a quick scroll through. There we go. There we go. Love him. What tips and techniques do you have to like get that kind of performance out of, of so many people? It starts with the script when you have to find the right people. And that's, uh, you know, that's more difficult. Like you just know it when you see it. Do you get nervous still in auditions or when you're on set? Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with it? The more you're prepared, the less you're anxious. I was so pleased to get to talk to the producer of Blue Jasmine, Edward Walson, the dreamy Julian Morris from Pretty Little Liars and Once Upon a Time, Jeff Nichols, the director and writer of Mud, and Etta Wally from Lost. He was so, so great. I really love chatting with him. He gave me some excellent advice on acting and auditions. I had asked him actually a couple of questions and one was if he still got nervous when he went into auditions and how he dealt with that. He told me that it took him quite some time to figure this out but eventually the way he approached auditions was he went in and he just performed as if it was the one chance he was ever going to get to play that character which is a lot of the times the case and he did it for himself and that's the reason why he loves acting, so he can go and perform. So that's the way he treats the audition. He doesn't treat it as, I need this job. He treats it as a performance that he, in a role that he already has. Another thing that stood out to me and I thought was so cool was how often the directors and producers actually use Skype for auditions. Sometimes an actor will be somewhere around the world working on a project and they can't come in for the audition so they hold it over Skype and a lot of times they are auditioning actors who are outside of the US and that is the most convenient way to hold an audition. All in all the whole experience was really cool and I'm glad I could have been part of it and I hope to work with Skype again because it was really neat to work with a brand that I already love and uh, yeah who knows what will come up in the near future. I will see you lovely people later and I promise to have better hair next time. You can check out the rest of the official video from the award show on the Skype YouTube channel by clicking on the link under where it says featured video. Enjoy!